Yes, welcome back to Why in the Morning. My name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moses on social media. And this is our first item of the day. So today happens to be Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And this is that day that we highlight stories of young Kenyans who are doing amazing stuff for themselves and uh, the community at large. But before I introduce my guest of the day, we have a question on Facebook, and this one is about loans. If you have a student loan, if you have uh, loans from the apps or from the banks, tell us. And why do you, what do you think about the borrowing culture in Kenya? What do you think is making Kenyan youth borrow that much? That is what we need from you. That is at White54 on Facebook, or preferably you can hit us up on White54 underscore channel on Instagram and White54 uh, channel on Twitter, or you can hit me up directly at It's Barry Moore. So the lady of the day, uh, she started out blogging about food. Now she has her own cafe. Talk about growth. She goes by the name Hodia Chap 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 Karibu Sano. Asante Bari. All right, your camera is number four. <laughs> uh -huh. If I missed anything on your intro, I uh -huh. like to give people a chance to introduce themselves. All the credentials of everything that you've achieved so far. Okay. Uh -huh. My name is Hodia. Uh -huh. I own the brand Chap Chikoni, which uh -huh. started off as a home prepping brand mm -hmm. and then i grew and now grew into a cafe mm -hmm. i'm 25 years old 25 yes wow <laughs> uh -huh. and i'm a graduate uh -huh. i studied become majored sales and marketing become majored at sales and marketing yes that's why you selling food is so easy for you it uh, comes easy for you not a task <laughs> not a task <laughs> yes all right uh so uh, i want to take you back to to when you're studying become. Mm -hmm. All right, what's running in your mind? Do you want to work at a bank at this time or do you want to work at an insurance company or do you want to just offer financial advice to people? What, what, what was the aim? Hey, to be very honest, I was those confused people in campus. Because uh -huh. <laughs> first of all, I was called to study library science uh -huh. but then it was not my kind of thing uh -huh. so i switched to become because i found it neutral and something just simple for me mm -hmm. but then i loved the sales and marketing bit uh -huh. but i wasn't really sure you what always I knew you were to going to get into business yeah? yes uh -huh. yes yes somehow you know even my mom used to tell me because i used to sleep a lot when i was little so she used to tell me hey Mommy, you better have your own thing when you grow <laughs> up because you can't be employed with this sleeping pattern. All right, all right. Yeah. So uh, you always knew you were going to end up doing business, yeah. but you always knew you were not sure. Yeah, now I wasn't sure about what I want to do. All right. So this whole thing started as a joke. As a joke. The way you just make kick ass meals at home. Uh -huh. And then your friends keep telling us, you get serious with this thing. So uh -huh. You get serious with this thing. And then one day, uh, some guy, uh -huh. he's called Eric, he told me, hey, me, I'm a bachelor, I can't cook. Mm -hmm. So you come and cook for me, then charge me. I was like, what is that? How mm -hmm. do we do this? Mm -hmm. And then I went and did it for him and posted it, and, and it surprised me because it took off. So Eric, you owe Eric one. Hey, I owe him. <laughs> <laughs> you owe Eric one. I hope, he helped I owe you him discover time. this. So yes. you, were just, you were always good at cooking. Yes, chef. Did you I wasn't from so mom? good, but uh -huh. I, I practiced the craft uh -huh. and was and ensured I was consistent with the recipes uh -huh. and everything, trying this out, giving people to sample and uh -huh. all that. So I can't say that I was so good from the start. Uh -huh. Yeah. But you've improved over time. Ah, so uh, much. Who, who do you attribute this to? Your cooking skills? Is it mom or dad? Hate my mom. <laughs> Your mom, she's good at this as well. Hey, she's I good. hope she's watching us. <laughs> ah, she, we, we're the number one fan. <laughs> number one fan. Hello, Mama Chap. She'll even take a photo and put on her <laughs> social media for like three weeks. Hi, Mama Chap. We love you as well. So, uh, you started posting these things. Uh, mm -hmm. How was the business back then? Before you got to the cafe level, how was how, how were you running your business? You were cooking, posting <coughs> online, and mm -hmm. telling people to, to order the food or how? Yes, mm -hmm. but now, uh, remember at this point when I cooked for Eric, mm -hmm. I had a very huge dilemma in my life. Mm -hmm. I've never told anyone this, but I was thoroughly applying for jobs outside Kenya. Mm -hmm. Dubai, those jobs, Qatar, uh -huh. as it, it had gotten to a point I was even applying for the house girl jobs. Mm -hmm. So I had this big dilemma, I was like, do I, because I had just started the brand after I cooked for Eric. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, do I push me? the mm -hmm. brand or do I just go? Because mm -hmm. the, the, the jobs even outside, some of them had come through. Mm -hmm. So I decided, ah, let me do this. So I started cooking from home. Mm -hmm. 
and 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 now started growing posting recipes the thing that has helped me grow so much is mm -hmm. the recipes part actually mm -hmm. and consistency mm -hmm. even if i'm not feeling like it i'll just cook and post and post and that mm -hmm. was it and then now i started cooking from home now because mm -hmm. it got to a point people want We'll just lunch, kawaida lunch for the office. So I mm -hmm. started cooking from home and delivering. Mm -hmm. And then what made me push myself to now want to open a place is mm -hmm. because the demand was too high. Mm -hmm. Like you get, I have already made what I'm delivering and then I have like 30 plus orders. 30 plus orders. Yes. So this, uh, an estimate, you have more than 30 orders a day. Yes. I can yes, tell. Yes. Wow. How many orders did you have when you were starting? Hey, hey. To be honest, the first week uh -huh. it was crazy. Uh -huh. You know, I have a partner in this business. He was like, Wow, what is this? Uh -huh. How do you even get to this? Uh -huh. It was so good. Uh -huh. But now, you know, the month is a bit. It Sometimes shifts, people yeah. buy, like uh -huh. the first week of the month, people buy. The dates between 15th to 23rd is really difficult. That is where that. you feel like <laughs> calling your employees and telling them, Hey, now I'm going to Joe. All right. <laughs> Please, because uh, but you have studied the patterns, yes. and uh, you can tell Kenyans Kenyans have yeah. a spending pattern. Totally. All right, so you mm. know the what to cook at this times of the month. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. By now, I, at first I didn't really know, mm -hmm. but for now I know, uh -huh. and and. Of course, there are plans that I had when I was starting, mm -hmm. and I came to realize they are a little bit, I can't go with them. Mm -hmm. Like initially, I used to think something like biryani, I can do it on maybe Friday and mm -hmm. Saturday and Sunday. But weirdly, it's the most purchased meal. Mm -hmm. So it's now like our daily, the way you will have to make like beef stew every day. Uh -huh, that daily it's if there is no biryani, we talk to ourselves. All right. <laughs> So there's no business when there's no biryani. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. are we looking at seeing... Oh, and Matumbo. And I Matumbo. was surprised. The first day I was skeptical. I think I made like three kgs. By 12, I didn't have any Matumbo. Right. And now 12 is when the orders kick in. All right. So sometimes do you ask yourself, why do people tend to love this more than they love this? Yes. And All I right. came to realize... Um, <coughs> People love things, people love eating out things that they are afraid to prepare at home. Uh -huh. Like Matumbo, people are like, hey, kaharufu, kanatokanga aje, uh -huh. mara unachemsha for long, uh -huh. siju nini nini. All Those right. things that people are scared of preparing at home is what they mostly eat out. Uh -huh. So like biryani, because I can't imagine what is the recipe for biryani. <laughs> people think it's <laughs> it, it takes 24 hours to first <laughs> prepare so your mind. ingredients. So some of these things that people are scared of make it at home, I and these they that. order the most. Yes. And this has taken uh, research over time, research that you've done over time. Yes. And learning, uh, learning on the job. Yeah. I like. So uh, as you moved. Uh, Swiftly, people are making orders. You're cooking from home. People are making orders and whatnot. Uh, what was the initial investment? The if you're willing to share. <laughs> the first time ever. When I was cooking from home? Yes. Oh, my God. You will laugh at me. I my, like us to laugh together. My mentor uh -huh. sent me, I think, 13,000 shillings. Mm -hmm. I bought a uh, Meko, uh -huh. the small one. Mm -hmm and big sufurias, three of them, mm -hmm. and disposable containers. Mm -hmm. And now the ingredients, the whole spices, the all that, it, it cost me around there, 13. Mm -hmm. around and 13, that was 000. it, yeah. And that was it? Yes. All right, fast forward, you've set up your own cafe. Mm -hmm. It's in Roisambu. By the way, if you're in the uh, areas like Roisambu, you should visit. Come. Come, <laughs> come, 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 come. It's in Roisambu. Yes. And uh, not so many, I've seen so many food bloggers. Mm -hmm but not so many of them take the next step mm -hmm. to set up an establishment <coughs> of mm -hmm. their own because mm -hmm. it, uh, it's very risky. Yeah. yeah, not even risky alone. Mm -hmm. I've come to, from my experience, what most people are afraid of is the criticism. And mm -hmm. I will not lie to you, mm -hmm. the criticism is too much. Mm -hmm. And that is one thing that really m makes me sad about us as a country or mm -hmm. rather 
people uh -huh. because you will realize that when big brands that I don't want to mention big uh -huh. big establishments food establishments uh -huh. when they have say small mistakes in their eating places uh -huh. it's not taken deeply but small people you're trying to rise and pe uh -huh. because people know you're out there on social media one small mistake they're out uh -huh. you know overreacting so tarnishing your name waiting for that mistake people are constantly looking for a mistake yes and that is why food bloggers are like let me just make my food at home eat it take photos share the recipes and that's it because you can't really handle that tarnishing of your name and that mm -hmm. is now when people technically people don't know you until you start to rise uh -huh. and that is when they want to bring all the data about you and say uh -huh. something to destroy you and everything uh -huh. of course and the first weeks it scared me and at some point i was like i want to quit this but right now i'm like to, like Leo 90 percent of the feedback is good 10 uh percent -huh. is the bad i'll deal with the 10 percent <laughs> and improve if Do it's a genuine concern comments, the the 10 percent well, some clients are nice. Like, if they find a problem, they take a photo, send it to you on, privately, mm -hmm. and tell you, I didn't like this, but I know your potential. Mm -hmm. I know you can do better, and I know this was a mistake. And you're like, yeah, I'm sorry. Can I replace that dish? Mm -hmm. But now there are those who will go out there and now start post making... Post you on post social you media. and now start this making... Hmm? At the, at the something like say, making a statement like, Vitu kwa grounds me different. <laughs> 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 I see that. So this is something you've experienced so far. Yes. All right. How do you handle the customers that tell you mm -hmm. uh, in private that mm -hmm. I didn't like this about the food, mm -hmm. so uh, maybe you can correct this and I believe in you. How do you handle them? Do you give them discounts next time? Or do I can give them a discount. Mm -hmm. Mostly I replace the dish. You replace yeah, the dish? Yeah, and send it all the way to them at uh -huh. their homes. Uh -huh. And apologies and then now deal with the issue if it was me, mm -hmm. I correct. If it was my staff, I mm -hmm. also talk to them. All right. And this is one aspect that you appreciate so much. The customers yes. that communicate. Yes, in they're a the ones that way. make you the best. All right. They they see something that probably you don't see. All right. Yeah. So how is the communication like? How how, how have you built this network? Because I'm pretty sure you have a number of customers that order from you from time to time. Mm -hmm. Do you have records of them or something? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Like there, there's a customer who will, uh, you know, what what I request my clients to do is send me your order mm -hmm. and your location. It's easier to deal with text because it's easy to forward to the rider uh -huh. and put the location on Google Maps. Uh -huh. So you see, there's a client you've talked to many times. So you save their number and the location. You mm -hmm. don't have now to keep asking every time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then there are those now who are frequent. Maybe you can send them the menu for the day every mm -hmm. day. All right. Yeah. How are you incorporating technology in your business? Since we're living in this age of Facebook and Instagram and and zile text mingi maramoja, like things have been made easier, especially when it comes to communication. How are you co incorporating technology? Um, first of all, I use Instagram so much for mm -hmm. my business because Instagram is easy. It's more of the photo, mm -hmm. and photos are what capture your heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, even for you and to like someone, you first have to I, like them I physically. I personally don't like your photos, by the way. <laughs> why? Let me let me tell you why. Cause, <laughs> Uh, most of the time when I'm seeing them, I'm hungry and they make me more hungry and I become really frustrated. You should talk to me now, you're my friend. I'll talk to you nice, I'll talk to you nice. But the photos really mm -hmm. sell you. Yeah, the photos have sold me. In fact, I didn't, I, you know, the way I noticed when you don't look at something is when it happens. Mm -hmm. Like getting a huge following uh -huh. and everything. Me used to just post and share recipes, uh -huh. post and share recipes. I realized there was too much growth. I've never even sponsored my page. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, social media has helped me so much because I'm able to show the clients what we have. Mm -hmm. And then they're able now to 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 respond with what they want. And I like my clients because they start calling mm -hmm. and texting like All they right. know the pros procedure mm -hmm. so they give me the orders i note them down and now call the rider mm -hmm. riders have also made life much easier mm -hmm. i actually love do the guys mm -hmm. they've made life much <laughs> yeah, they've easier made life and easier. business is easier for yeah yeah you, uh -huh. you you will work with a lot of do the guys but with time you get like two and find they are workable mm -hmm. they are fast they are mm -hmm. neat and you know they have to look Presentable, clean also this is food. They're delivering food yeah. yes uh -huh. So yeah, you pin them the locations, uh -huh. starting with the closest. Uh -huh. <clears throat> you see, if you are coming from Thika Road, he has to start with the USIU order, uh -huh. move to Garden City, move to Parklands, Westlands, that way. All right, which leads to my next question. Mm -hmm. uh, the farthest delivery you've made over? Siokimao. Siokimao from Rosambu to I, I was skeptical, you know, I was trying to tell this clear. 
uh, it's far i think it will be a little bit costly for you mm -hmm. I'd rather even add you one extra meal so you don't feel the the cost. And she was like, no, I'm your fan. I don't care how much I'll pay. I want wow. to get that food. And this is some fun love. Yes. Wow. Amazing. So Shokimao represented as well. Yeah. And you can deliver anywhere in Nairobi yeah, as anywhere. we speak. Yeah, anywhere. Uh, yeah. How about the temperatures? How do you handle the temperatures of the food when it's gone for? I just ensure that when it's, the, when the rider is there and you're in a toka kwa moto, Packed and and nini. and then what I ensure like I give different riders different routes. Uh -huh. Like the rider who does thicker road uh -huh. will do Parklands and uh -huh. Westlands. Uh -huh. Then the the one who who will do Kilimani, Lovington, uh -huh. all that area. So it's faster in that within thirty minutes uh -huh. they have their food. And uh -huh. then there's one now who will do Mombasa Road. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can't send someone to Westlands, then Kilimani, then uh -huh. town, then. Mombasa so road. out of all this uh, experience, you now a very good chef. Mm -hmm. You can cook pretty well. Mm -hmm. You're a very good manager. You're a very good salesperson. And not to mention you've studied the map of Nairobi and you understand it so well. Yeah. <laughs> you can co coordinate <laughs> transport. Yes. <laughs> I like. All right. So what is the future of Chef Chikoni? How do you, where do you see it? Because it started from a blog mm -hmm. to a cafe now. Mm -hmm. In Roisambu, by the way, mm -hmm. if you're somewhere in Roisambu, she's going to be giving us the exact address. Uh, mm -hmm. wh where do you see it now? What is the vision for it? First of all, uh -huh. I see Chepchikoni having its own recipes, uh -huh. like something I've come up with from scratch. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I'm going, I want to come up with our own spice. Mm -hmm. And then after our own spice, I, wa I would want Chepchikoni and to grow and mm -hmm. have branches. Mm -hmm. And one thing that, if you have really observed my post, I mm -hmm. want to ensure to maintain is the African theme mm -hmm. for the, from everything, from the utensils to the furniture to the everything. To, to the outfits. Yes, e uh -huh. exactly. Everything. Yeah. Right, for now, that is what I'm. Yes, that mm -hmm. is what I'm working towards, and even introduce African, completely African dishes like. Mursik, you know Mursik? <laughs> yes, I've tasted Mursik. Mm -hmm. It's really good, it's really good, especially with Ugali. Uh, <laughs> supply to Atuna. So we can get Mursik from... Yes. Right, so incorporating traditional Kenyan foods and African foods is, yes. is an angle. Mm -hmm. Incorporating the African theme in your interior design mm -hmm. and uh, the outfits and the packaging is also another angle. So it's African, African, African. Yes. Chepchikon. Yes. All right, so uh, there's no pasta <laughs> at Chepchikon. <laughs> we are not eating pasta there. Or any foreign food. Okay, like, you would get, but not so much. Uh -huh. Like... The reason why, even if you look at my posts and my recipes, mm -hmm. I'm really focusing on African foods mm -hmm. because some things don't make sense. It's like having money, your kids have not gone to school, mm -hmm. but you're sending that money elsewhere, mm -hmm. maybe to help other people mm -hmm. or rather to spoil someone else. Mm -hmm. Same case with food. We cannot be running to foreign foods when mm -hmm. we have a problem in here. Mm -hmm. Already people have a problem even preparing something simple like Ugali. Mm -hmm. Maybe you think it's simple. There's someone who can't prepare it. Yes. So let's deal with and the situation first hand. Mm -hmm. And uh, nutrition is directly linked to our health as well. Exactly. And the African foods have proven to be very healthy. Very healthy. All right, let's take a look at your Instagram uh, so we can <laughs> pick one or two. Uh, so hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. up. Let's go to the bio first. So Chef Chikori is the handle. Yeah. 44.4 uh, thousand followers so far. And mm -hmm. this has grown over time. Yes. How long has it taken you to get to this uh, this uh, um, number of followers. Exactly two years. Exactly two years. Yes. 44K. That is that is powerful, especially in a country of haters like Kenya. Kamati Aroho Black. Yes. <laughs> All right. Restaurant owner located along Lumumba Drive next to Jack Wagas in Roisambu area. That mm -hmm. is the direction. Yes. All right. The directions are on the Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, the phone numbers are also on the Instagram. Chef mm -hmm. is the Instagram. The tail number is there as well. And uh, I see a YouTube link. Yes. What is on your YouTube channel? Um, vi recipe videos. Recipe videos? Yes. Of Zenyu uh, Yes. All right, who does media for you? Uh, the shooting and all that. Yeah, the shooting and all that. My boyfriend. All right. <laughs> so it's a family business. He's very, and he's a kicker's cook. Sometimes he cooks and I say, my boy, Sijuiki too. All right. <laughs> so it's a family business. Uh, I'm looking yeah. forward to. 
to what is going to come out of this family. This is a very promising family. This was and my dinner. This was <laughs> yesterday. Yeah? Yes, I devoured it thoroughly. All right, you devoured. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. So uh, all I see there is what type of vegetable is this? This is pumpkin leaves uh -huh. and spinach. Pumpkin leaves. Yes, creamed with coconut milk. Creamed with coconut milk. C can you see the holy fruit there? I that can is the see holy the beautiful avocado. fruit. I can see the avocado. And that one is a perfect one. That one, Laskei Menda Shule. Shule, private <laughs> school. Right. So this was made at home or? Yeah, at home. This was at home. All right. Do you think that is nutritious for me, for a, gent a brother like Barry? Yes, very, very, very. All right. I get some very good oils from the avocado. Yes. Now get a nguvu. It's very good vitamins right there. Mm. Uh -huh. Let's call up. What is happening here? The oh, yeah. You see the way uh, pe people help grow your brand. Uh -huh. You also help others grow their brand. This uh -huh. is my friend. She sells these beautiful pillows. Uh -huh. So I was also promoting her. A beautiful design right there. Yeah. Uh, is she going to be the one doing your interior design when time comes? She helped me. Did she help me uh, do, do the, the one for my home? Uh -huh. She'll of course help me with the one when my restaurant grows. Powerful. I like how uh, Kenyan businesses are supporting each other. All right. So you bake as well? No. Someone sent me these cupcakes. She's called Afan. cakes by Memo. Yes. On wow. Sunday, and I was starving. Wow, <laughs> I like. Do you know, this is Indomie. This is Indomie. Yes, and that and is also is Indomie. Wow. When they discovered or when they invented Indomie, did mm. they know it can be cooked like this? Or oh, this is something you do? I know. doubt. What, what process went into this? This one. Yeah. This has egg uh -huh. and onions uh -huh. and capsicums. Wow. It's called Indo Round. Nihoho. Nihoho. Matu, Capsicum, Nihoho. All right. Then, wow. So this is fluffy, Indo Round. Yes. Kujaribu too. Yeah. And that is Mayondomi. Mayondomi. Yes. Where did the name come from and <laughs> why? It has mayonnaise and uh -huh. ketchup uh -huh. sauce. And then it, it, it has um, goat meat. Goat meat as well? Yes. Wow. I never imagined I could put some meat in my Indomie, but that is you the future. Don't right underestimate there. your Indomie. <laughs> don't underestimate your Indomie. Yes. All right. What is happening now? Here I was at the Indomie Champ Challenge, which mm. was on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And I feel very sad because I lost with three points uh -huh. and I came in second. Uh -huh. But my beautiful friend Nyako here uh -huh. came number one. So I'm still and happy. Is Nyako. Yes, she's Nyako Maber. I've been Nyako looking Maber. up to her from uh -huh. 2015. Food blog as well. Yes. And moving on to build a business. I yes. see Pitson right there. That's Pitson. He was my desk here at the, at the Indomie Challenge. Yes, he came in number three. And He's he was only boy child no he, he, he just um he he went into the challenge uh -huh. and he came top five all right i like that i like that i like mm -hmm. that uh-huh let's see let me see some wow the famous biryani that is the famous biryani right yes now. wow i like <laughs> what is happening here my stomachs my tumbo <laughs> <laughs> going down <laughs> is this how it's written in the menu i hope yes uh, yes my, my tumbo <laughs> okay we're going to Let's see some more. Let's see some more. Uh huh. Audi fish. This if you can't Audi afford it, uh -huh. design it. Okay, <laughs> I see the logo right there. I see yes. That wow, I like. <laughs> what is that sauce? What is that sauce on the fish? This is coconut sauce. Uh -huh. Coconut sauce. Yes. Coconut sauce is a uh, is a common ingredient in most of your foods. Uh? Yes, coconut sauce and cumin seeds. All right. Yes. What is a uh, <coughs> What is the nu nu nutrient value of coconut sauce? You seem to love it so much. I love it. The taste is the amazing. The taste is amazing. Yes. And it has natural oils as well. Exactly. Yeah? All right. Uh, chapati pembeni pali. Bas. <laughs> destroy these people. <laughs> All right. I like. I see a lot of fish. Chapati. This is chips and meat. Chips and meat. Yes. All right. Stirred in one pan. Yes. This is actually the biryani meat. Wow. I mm -hmm. like. Shish. <laughs> Let's see some more. This is ile ni ile mboga bado. Ile ni mayai na hiyo mboga. All right. Uh, we have that right there. We can open this picture right here. Yes. The the picture of the restaurant. This one. The picture of the restaurant, please, as we wrap up. So this is the setup. Yes. The branding, I see the branding is beautiful. 
Timani. There's a flame. <laughs> yes, we are burning. <laughs> You're burning. <laughs> yes. I like, and you've set up the space so well. Yeah. And I love what you're doing from food blogging to having your own cafe. And uh, let me look at the caption. Been busy, been a busy day, and yeah. you are too tired to cook. Don't worry, we got you. Just order dinner from us, and we shall deliver. Yeah. All right. Another thing I've noted <coughs> is mm -hmm. the the we article. Mm -hmm. You never say I. Yes, because... When I imagine Chef Chikoni, I imagine one person. You but see me, but there's a whole team behind me. Mm -hmm. There's a whole team. There are the chefs, the waiters, mm -hmm. and the partner. And they're part of the family. Yes. Quite selfless. Chef. Yes. Thank yes. you very much for coming. Uh, Thank but you so before much. Before we wrap this, mm -hmm. uh, social media. How can they get you on social media? Chef Chikoni. Chef Facebook, Chikoni. Instagram, YouTube, mm -hmm. Chef Chikoni. Subscribe. Uh -huh. Subscribe. <laughs> yes. We have recipes, we have amazing foods, mm -hmm. and we have. Oh, I've started saying we as well. <laughs> And oh, I forgot. I also have a segment where I give um, entrepreneurship advice, uh -huh. like at least once a week. At it's always on my Instagram on IGTV. Yes. And you talk about things you have experienced in the week or what? Yes, and I even talk about how you can start a business with zero capital. With zero capital. Yeah, and grow it. These are videos you have on YouTube. Yes. On, no, no, no. On my IGTV. On your IGTV. Instagram. So IGTV. Mechacha, mm. uh, IG timeline, Mechacha, mm. YouTube, Mechacha. I'm Facebook. all over your faces. <laughs> You're all over our faces. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Uh, another thing before you go is a question mm. on our Facebook. Mm -hmm. Kenyans are borrowing so much. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a student loan before we carry on? Yes, I have help loan. <laughs> you have a help loan. Are you servicing the loan? Kind yes, of. I'm trying to. You're trying to. <laughs> she has you at a quite a All right, so uh, what, why do you think Kenyans are borrowing so much? Because after the student loan, people mm -hmm. have these mobile apps and mm -hmm. people are taking loans from the bank and uh, people are in <coughs> debt, knee deep in debt. Uh, wh wh why do you think this culture is so rampant? Or do you want my honest, honest, honest opinion? That is why you're here, chap. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. I came to realize that people borrow too much, mm -hmm. not to grow themselves, mm -hmm. not to do things that make them happy, mm -hmm. but 90% of people borrow to fit in. Mm -hmm. You realize people borrow maybe money to go, say, on a road trip or mm -hmm. go out drinking. Go to and if you look deep down into yourself, this is not even something you love. Uh -huh. This is not something that makes you happy. You're doing it because your friends are doing it, mm -hmm. because your peers are doing it, and you want to be accepted. Mm -hmm. You see? And you don't want to Yeah. Just accept who you are and accept what you love. Mm -hmm. Do what you love. Don't try to fit in try to stand out mm -hmm. because you are you, you are different, mm -hmm. you see? Why but now it? most young people, they want to live that life and everything. Mm -hmm. I even tell people when you want to even start a business, there are mm -hmm. sacrifices you have to make. Mm -hmm. This baby shower things, you're not going to show up. Mm -hmm. This bridal shower things, you'll not show up, the party party. And of course, some of your friends will get mad and be like, hey, ako kabari ni kachoyo. But the people There's who are truly your friends mm -hmm. will understand that you have a vision. Mm -hmm. And when your things start to look up, mm -hmm. They'd be proud of you and be like, we understood her and she's here. We are so proud of her. But mm -hmm. we are going out today. You're there jumping. We are going on a road trip. <laughs> <laughs> you're that. never going to get to your dream. You're never going to get. What's yeah. what's from Chef like that? So, so cut your coat according to your clothes. Can't if you have 50 bob, buy a movie, sit at home, enjoy, uh -huh. laugh, and, and sleep like a that baby. That is still entertainment. Yes, that is still entertainment. And if you can't afford it a hundred times, don't buy it. Exactly. Sit All your right. ass at home. It costs <laughs> you nothing. Sit down. Just whatever you make, send a little to your mother, mm -hmm. father, pay your bills, mm -hmm. entertain yourself a bit, not mm -hmm. too much, not mm -hmm. something that will overwhelm you, and stay happy. So people are borrowing for the wrong reasons. For the wrong reasons. But it's not wrong I can borrow. tell you honestly, very few people borrow to invest. It's mm -hmm. always borrowing to go somewhere, do something, do this, do this. Mm -hmm. I know very few people who borrow to grow. Yes, thank you very much, Chef. I appreciate you. For thank your you, Barry. And, and come uh, to Chef Chikoni. I'm coming. Uh, <laughs> lazima, lazima, lazima. Sana. I have mm -hmm. to taste the coconut sauce. Mm -hmm. I have to taste the, mboga, the pumpkin leaves. Mm -hmm. What part of Kenya do you come from? I come from um, Kokina Lupita Kule. 
Eh, eh. jango. I ah, saw so the fish will do. The Audi. <laughs> oh, you have to do a bends. <laughs> a bends would be nice. I'll, I'll, have to get I'll do the bends. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank and you thank so you very much. much for the advice. If you want to start a business, you must sacrifice. And head straight to Chef Chikoni. It's mm -hmm. located in Roisambu in particular. Yes. Uh, Roisambu in particular. Ja Jack Wagas. Jack Wagas. Next yeah, to right Jack Wagas. And get a taste and support a Kenyan business. And remember, she said, if you want to start a business, you need to sacrifice. My name is Barry Moses. Oh, it's Barry Moses Social. Uh, Alex is coming up next with another amazing interview. You don't want to miss it. Don't go nowhere.